39% of Bozona's land is set aside for wildlife tourism. These areas provide approximately 10% of GDP. The wildlife in these areas is Stanley's passion. Jumelam, welcome to my world. Linyant has born in a remote area dweller. I was born between hippos, crocodiles, elephants, buffaloes, lions, leopards, and hyenas. And then leave this lead to a turning point into my career. And then I took it all the way to uh, BWTI and undergo a course for professional nature guiding. And then here I am as a guide. I'm a guide because of wildlife. And I got a job that is able to sustain my life and even looking after my, my sisters at home and their offsprings and even looking after my children. Most of the people at home, they are working in tourism industry. I have seen a general decline in wildlife animal. As a conservationist, I feel so very sad because this way it can drive to unemployment, high unemployment rate in our country. If these animals are declining, then we are not going to have tourism attractions. We are not going to have tourism attraction to the fact that uh, operations, tourism operators will close down and there will be retrenchments as the government can only, cannot employ everybody because tourism is our, our major second source of income to the country. As a guide, as a conservationist, the poaching negatives, I feel they've got an impact to this animal. How? Animals, they will reduce, poaching can reduce populations, wildlife populations. Second, um, they can also influence behavioral change in animals. Instead of animals trying to uh, be very social and appreciate our presence as photographers, they stand to be skittish. Turning up, being skittish, running away from the cars because they are, their life is in a threat. And the other one is that this can also lead to extinction. We must uh, do research monitoring that can also uh, tell us why these animals are declining. The government of Botswana needs a better understanding of the worrying decline in wildlife. The standardized wildlife monitoring system SARAP has developed for the wildlife department involves all private and community areas of the Okavango Delta. The system was designed to improve upon the current aerial surveys, recording predator species, behavioral activities, and other detailed information not visible from the air. Monitoring is now undertaken by over 200 trained safari guides across the Okavango. Sightings of rare and endangered bird and wildlife species are all recorded and logged into a central data system. All this information is provided to the guides to feedback to their guests on their game drives. The monitoring data also supports the adaptive management system used by the government of Botswana to conserve one of the most important wetlands and wildlife populations left in Africa. I feel like I'm not at work simply because it's a fantasy career and it's a job that drives me to live so many uh, people's dreams. I'm, I'm on, a, on, on, a, on a playground. I enjoy this job. I've got a passion in it. I love nature. I love my job.